Hi, this video is being done in order to explain the winterizing of the ice maker uh, using the Nautilus system. We have a Samsung refrigerator, residential refrigerator. This is a uh, Solitude 310 GKR, and this is the Nautilus system that comes with it um, and uh, how to winterize the ice maker. So uh, one of the first things you do, you can see I'm on city water right now, and uh, we're just gonna talk through this. So there's plenty of videos on winterizing uh, the unit. This is to winterize the ice maker. Uh, please forgive the wind, we're outside. It's a little windy here on a November day. So the first thing we do is take the inlet, uh, the screen off the inlet, um, connect your antifreeze hose uh, into the antifreeze. The key there is to prime that antifreeze. Uh, that's where I've made mistakes in the past and became impatient um, where the uh, I hadn't primed the antifreeze. The way that I'll do that is once I've hooked my hose uh, to the inlet here and uh, placed that into the antifreeze, I'll just use the outside shower. Um, you see I've got my black hose. Um, I'll connect that to the outside shower and um, um, having turned the pump on, our pump, uh, my fingers right here is where our pump, so I'll turn the pump on and uh, run antifreeze through the, uh, the shower hose. It lets me know that I've got the, uh, the unit is, uh, is primed. So then what I'll do is uh, Again, in the winterize mode, uh, with the antifreeze placed, uh, I will uh, go inside to the Samsung residential refrigerator, turn um, turn that ice maker unit to on. Um, I also have uh, maybe slightly out of sequence. I'll, I'll make sure that the ice maker shutoff valve is on uh, before I do that. Uh, but then go in. Um, and turn the ice maker on from the refrigerator. From there, it's just a matter of being patient and letting that ice maker cycle many times. Could be seven to 10 times uh, is what it'll take. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the antifreeze to replace the water that's in that line. Um, you know, I think one thing that lets you know, you can hear uh, once you're making the ice, you can come out and you can hear the pump here cycling. Uh, and as long as you've primed the antifreeze, you're, uh, you just need to be patient and let that uh, process take place and generate the, the pink ice cubes. Uh, we'll now go inside and, and show you that. All right guys, so now we're back in the RV. And so here it is, this is the Samsung, uh, not sure what the model is, but as I back off, you can see it's not the ice and water maker. The ice maker is built in on the bottom freezer. So as we go in here, this is kind of our finished product. So if we open up the freezer, and I hope to be able to get this for you, as you can see right there, that's what you're looking for. So we've had about six uh, to seven um, batches of ice made. Uh, so we're gonna let it run maybe a little bit more, but maybe one more batch, uh, but uh, that's all, that's all you have to do. So that'll be success right there. Now, all you have to do is go back outside to the Nautilus, turn the valve to the off position and you're set. So hope this helps and uh, good luck and enjoy your winter.